Today we're going to be looking at the Apex Draconic sets for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the Hunter set. It's right here. You guys can check it out. And we've already done the review and shader videos. They're both right here. So Hunters definitely should check out that video. I like that set a lot and I go pretty hard on it. And for the review and shader video, they're both literally just more informational. Specifically the review video, we look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And I gush pretty hard about the armory because it is really good. And then the shader video, it's all my favorite shaders because if I do all all my shaders, it takes quite a while and I've been legitimately fallen asleep making that video. So that's why I just cut it back to my favorite because I just want to get to the point of that video. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Apex Draconic Helm. Now, this one is a really cool one because I like uh, kind of like the language of this armor. And I'm going to just keep saying language. It's more like I like what the armor is doing. And I will explain what I mean by this. So we're going to be using the Apex Draconic Helm with the Apex Draconic Mark uh, for the exotic Abeant ape, Leap is what we're using. And for the arms, War Newman's Fist with the Aphotic Limilar Plate. Uh, for the shader, a blaze, I just think it looks amazing with this. Now, so like when I say like the language of it, I like the fact that the helmet and the in the chest piece and the boots are really, really cool in the sense that there's plate, but there's also under armor in there specifically for like the those three pieces. There's a plate armor specifically like, uh, for example, the helmet. The helmet has a plate armor in the front, but in the back or underneath, you also see armor in there. And that's for all of it. Like specifically everything, every piece in this set has an armor piece, but there's also some un armor underneath, whether that be ar like armor plating or cloth, specifically a Bane Leap has cloth under while the other two pieces has armor. I think that's really cool. And it adds that level of like, it looks like they, these pieces can go well together. The only thing that I would probably switch out would probably be the mark. That being said, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like, that's the one where I'm like, I could see people not liking the mark for this set. That being said, um, a blaze could also be switched out for something else. I like a blaze. I think it looks really cool, but yeah, I think the only thing I would switch out would be uh, the mark just because there's too much of that gold on that side and it, it kind of makes it lean too heavy on the left in my opinion. So something that would make it like even I think would be way better, but overall a really good first pick for my uh, set. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using Apex Draconic Gauntlets and the exotics is going to be Kepri's Horn. So I decided I, I tried to use this in a bug type look. I don't think this one is the best. I think the only piece that I really truly like is going to be the helmet with the crawling Chaos Greaves and the Mark of the Taken King. The Forium plate, I think, is just a little bit too like small, I guess it would like the, the thing would be. Um, if the foreign plate was a little bit bulkier, like in the back and in the shoulders, I guess you would say, yeah, uh, I think that would have been really cool, but I probably would just switch this out for something else. Honestly, it's not a bad set, mind you, like I, I definitely like it. It also feels like what I said about the hunter set it definitely feels like a whip, uh, like a blueprint sort of thing, because I, it feels incomplete. Definitely the chest piece, I think, is the piece that makes it feel incomplete now. Ah, there's some pieces you could definitely use. I was thinking about using the uh, the Oryx chest piece, the the one you get from Oryx. I think that would would have been a better choice, just because it is bulkier and it does have that like carapace look. And I feel like I really should have used that one instead of the Forium plate. Just in my head, I was like, I always use the Oryx plate with the Capri's horn, so I just decided to use something else. But I should have gone with my gut and used that one instead, because I think that would have been a little bit better. So, um, that being said, I could have also used the Crota chest piece and then just switched the shader for a green. I think that would have been good as well. The only reason I switched for red is because I wanted the candles to match with everything else. But in hindsight, that really shouldn't have mattered. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, this is pretty funny because uh, once I completed all of these, these videos and like was searching through uh, Instagram just to like kill time, I ended up seeing, I think it was um, Crips had showcased someone that made a very similar armor set to this one. I think the only pieces that were similar is like the Apex Draconic Plate with the Anthemic Invocation Greaves 
and uh, the illo illogical fallacy ornament for the wishful or, or ignorance. I think those are the only like things that were like super close. Other than that, the helmet and the mark are completely different. And I think the shaders as well. Um, so if I have the person who did it, I'll have it up right now. But if you don't, um, if you know, put it in the comments, I'll definitely pin it. But it is funny because like I didn't even realize that that person had made it until I was already done with every class. So I thought that was pretty funny. But for this one, um, a Photic Lemillar helmet with the Apex Draconic plate, I love. It's such a great combo. Um, and then the Crawling Chaos mark because uh, I was going for something here. And I think the Crawling Chaos mark just goes, goes really well with it. I love the the like the like belt buckle thing. Like It looks really cool with everything else. I'm going to be honest. I think the males will look way better than the females on this one just because the arms look way bigger and kind of like proportionate to the chest piece the i cannot say the same thing about the females it just doesn't look the same uh doesn't look as foreboding as the males do in my opinion so uh for the shader venomous just because uh specifically uh venomous just, just does a great job at combining everything into one co color and then the glow is green which is kind of what i wanted because again illogical fallacy Unfortunate and for the wishful ignorance as well Both of them do not change colors for the glow, which is very unfortunate But you can definitely work around it like I've done in here that being said it is annoying that I have to work around it So I definitely like this one. Would it be my favorite? I don't know Maybe Not saying the last one is bad. I actually really like it as well It's just hard because I really do like the first one. The first one is really cool the second one is definitely a work in progress, so I can definitely see myself like liking it once I tweak it a little bit more. So the third one definitely is the best so far, but let's go on to the last one. As for the last one, we're going to be using the Apex Draconic Greaves. Now, this is funny because I noted I also showcased this in the review video, but and this is this might might be hard for people to view. But if you guys want to see it clear, definitely check it out in the game or go to the review video because that one you can definitely see it. Uh, the Apex Draconic Greaves for the males and females is different because uh in the actual flaps or like the the edges of the boots there's a glow for the titans or males you can definitely see the glow for the females it's like turned off which is hilarious to me so i really wish i chose a better shader to showcase that but at the same time it's not that big a deal so for the helmet helm of the taken king uh and thing invocation plate for the chest piece and then the photic limb alarm mark for the shadering, it's going to be Imperial Opulence for everything but the uh, the, um, the mark. The mark is welded brass. So this is an interesting one because I don't like traditionally like Imperial Opulence. I have it on my favorites because it's usually a shader that I go for when I want to reverse something. So if you guys don't know, uh, Imperial Opulence has a opposite shader that is the opposite colors of this one so instead of like this orange gold it's actually like a really dark purple so i really really like that and i usually use that purple instead and uh, imperial Opul opulence turns cloth into purple and the other one turns cloth into the orange color so they they're opposite they're inverted essentially and when you combine them you can get a really cool purple for like uh, the whole thing like a mono purple look which is really cool but instead, I wanted to go for Imperial Ambulance, A, because it looks actually pretty decent with this whole set, but um, I wanted to combine the Imperial Ambulance, the other shader, I forget what it's called, um, so that way I can have a little bit of purple in there. Unfortunately, I didn't like, or actually, the other shader didn't turn a Photic Lemolar purple, it turned it like silver. So I ended up using Welded Brass because I like the deep purple that it was. And you can even see it, the purple from the Doomfang Pauldron, specifically the like forearms. You can see like purple underneath there. That is the purple that uh, usually the cloth will do. So I definitely like this one. Um, is it my favorite? This is where I kind of like thought about it because I was like, this one does look really cool. And it is going to be a Doomfang Pauldrons look that I'm going to go for because I don't have a lot of Doomfang Pauldrons. I have a few of them and this one is probably one of the better ones so this one is definitely going to be on my list because if you guys don't know i actually have um like a folder dedicated to all of the exotics that the classes have and there's a sets that i have so like for example doomfang pauldrons i actually let's go check it out real quick so here i am doomfang pauldrons uh would be all oh, right here so this is all the doomfang pauldron sets that i've made in the past 
and I started doing this because I have I've realized that I've had a lot of sets over the years this one's my favorite by far this one is definitely my favorite but yeah if you guys want to see these let me know in the comments below I could probably make a video like showcasing all of the sets that I've made because I've made like a live I also have no exotic looks because those are also a thing that I've done and yeah I think these are really cool obviously we're done with the video uh, if you guys like the video like comment subscribe I really do appreciate it but yeah, this is like kind of like the thing that I like to do is just kind of go back to my old sets and be like, did I do a set like this before? Because like Abeyant Leaps is also a great example. I've done a lot of Abeyant Leaps to look and yeah, it's not even funny how much I forgot about this one. Um, yeah, it's oh fuck that right. That one too. Yeah, it's hilarious. Just how many sets that I've made with a lot of these exotics. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these sets that I've made. Um, would you guys like to see a video of just me showcasing all of the sets that I've made for all of the classes because it's not just Titans hunters you guys have a lot as well celestial has a good amount and also showcasing with the ornaments as well which I'm thinking about um, thinking about but it doesn't matter either way let me know what you guys think I appreciate you guys coming to this point remember that yeah my internet's still down I'm it's still Sunday so nothing has changed obviously but these videos I'm probably gonna kill all within one day so that way when my internet does come back you guys have a bunch of content to go through because it's not just this armor set uh, it's not just the DD set it's also the seasonal ornaments from the battle pass I've already done the review and shader video I just need to do voiceovers for the review video the shader video is already done and I've already done armor sets for those, which is surprising because in another video I said that I was not going to do an armor set for those because those are really rough. But I decided to really just do it because I was like, well, it specifically thank the Warlocks for it because the Warlocks, I ended up making three sets with three of those pieces. And I was like, well, if I could do it for the Warlocks, I can definitely do it for the Hunter and Titan, which I did end up doing. But I'm also going to be doing the exotic videos. I'm going to be sprinkling those as well. And then probably going to start actually doing other stuff as well. Like specifically, probably going to start doing um, like weapon videos or, or the other games that I, I play as well. Like Final Fantasy 14, World of Warcraft, uh, Warframe, maybe Elder Scrolls Online if I get deep enough to get into the fashion of it. Because I don't know how the fashion looks for that game. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.